This is the final day of the fishing season in Waterville and County Kerry, and I'm spending it up on the beautiful lock Darianna. Hey boys, I'm back! I heard you died from eating too much food, my fisherman. No, I'm still alive! See you lads! That's the river out of Darien. There's a bit of a flood on it. I hope I'll be able to drive across the river to get next to the boats. Chances. <laughs> no way, not in a million years. Not in a million years. Ah, heaven. I must be in the water out of the boat. the water I must show you something. My next door neighbor his name is Lyndon and he's another genius that I know and he watches my videos. I don't know if he subscribed to me but he watches my videos <laughs> and he said to me Vincent I've made you a present and he made me this and I didn't know what it was and he said I watch your videos Vincent and you need one of these. And I said, What's, what is it? What, what do you do with it? He made this. He made this out of a 3D printer. And this is what it's for. That's not going to happen today, but he is a genius. Now I must peel out the water. That's somebody's discarded fishing line. That can get tangled in a rabbit or a hare or even the eagle. The eagle could come down and get tangled up in that and could kill him. That could kill loads of animals, that. And it's lying there for years, it doesn't rot. It takes two seconds to put it in your pocket, bring it home, and throw it in the fireplace. End of story. Or else, if you really want it, roll it up tight and in the, around your two fingers, roll it up, and then cut it with the scissors into loads of little tiny little pieces this size. And you can throw them away. They won't do any harm to anyone. But don't leave that on the ground like that. That's very bad. Whoever you are, bring it home with you. Health and safety. I'm going to fish this fly here. If there's fresh sea trout in the lake, there's a lot of orange in him. And the big long legs, he's kind of like a daddy long legs. And he's like, kind of like a grasshopper. And he's a good size. He's a big fly and he'll bring fish up the surface, hopefully. And I'm going to fish two flies, this fella. I fish this fella, he's like a little water, little shrimp. That's what he's like. I had the bibio on yesterday, a big bibio. I'm taking him off. And I'm going to fish these. And up at the far end of the lake, under these conditions, the lake's like a shitty glass. Right up at the very top corner, there, there's a river. There's another river over there, but this one is the better river. There's a river there coming from lakes that are up in the mountain. And I'm hoping that when I drive straight up there, that there'd be a flow coming out of the river. And if there is any sea trout and a salmon or even brown trout, they'll be swimming around that area. So if I go up there, I can either fish off the bank or just sit in the boat quietly and just flick up my flies in that area and 
I think that's my best chance. That's where I'm going to go. And if I go up there and I have no luck, I'm going to start crying. Because <laughs> I need a bloody breeze. I need a breeze. I need a breeze. That's all I need is a breeze. Ah. <sighs> Well, that was a waste of time. There's no flow. That's the river there in front of me. And there's no flow coming out of it at all. I missed my chance. Probably yesterday there would have been a nice flow coming out of there and the fishing would have been excellent. So, I might go around to the other river. Maybe there's a flow in that river. I need a flow. It's a disaster. A disaster! It's a disaster. There's no flow out of that river either. I'm wasting my time fishing until a breeze comes. So, I secure the boat and I think I'll have a nice can of beer and I'll go for a lovely sleep. And I'll say a prayer that a breeze comes. Yeah, that's a good plan. Time for a nap. When I woke up after a lovely sleep, I decided to go in for a quick swim. <laughs> so I took my clothes off and I hung them all up to dry because they're all wet and sweaty. And I went in for my last swim of the year and it was bitter, bitterly cold. It's a little breeze after coming. So I'm going to leave my flies with behind the boat and I'll row nice and slow and hopefully we'll get to catch some. A fish is a bonus. I'm happy here. It's a beautiful evening. I have the place to myself. The sun is shining. It's lovely and warm. It's not raining. And that's brilliant it's not raining. And I'm happy. And if I catch a big fish, I'll be delighted. And if I catch only a small one, I'm happy. And if I don't catch any, I'm still happy. Just being out here on the lake and the peace and the quiet. I've been able to come here and have my health and be able to be independent. It's worth more than millions. I am a very rich man and I know it. My first fish of the day. Calling it a day, I'm starving. I had not eaten all day, not eaten all day. And a cup of tea this morning, and a little slice of cake. And I've had nothing since all day long, nothing. I'm starving. So it's time to go in. And to fill the belly.
It's like a strongman competition. <laughs> this is a big cooker. A very big cooker. I love brown sauce. I love red ketchup. I love smoked bacon medallions. I love tomatoes. I love sausages. I love black and white pudding. comments I wouldn't even make videos so thank you so much I got really fantastic comments all through the year and I'm not going to start calling out different people's names because then someone said he never thanked me so thank you to all my subscribers thank you so much I said, Vincent, use your knife and park, will ya? Have a bit of etiquette. <laughs> but it's slowly improving and I think there's light at the end of the tunnel and talking about tunnels I work on trains and this common virus is driving me crazy because I have to wear a mask all day to wear a mask on my face and it's driving me insane it really is driving me mad trying to breathe and when I come home there's no let up my wife makes me wear my mask in bed seriously <laughs> and to wear my mask in bed honestly <laughs> but anyway on a happy note she bought me this shirt and I love it. And if you look very carefully, all these little blue little dots, they're actually thousands of little fish. <laughs> I'm covered in thousands of little fish is what I caught this year. I caught thousands of little fish. And please God, next year, I catch thousands of big fish. <laughs> so until next year, God bless, good luck, and be happy. See ya. <coughs> For the chest. <laughs>